Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Happy October. We are bringing back products of the month. I think product of the month videos are just very cool because it's a good way to shop your stash and incorporate some new goodies you might be using. So with the products of the month today, I'm gonna be talking about them as I am putting them on my face. Not everything I will be wearing today, but I just wanna make sure that I'm mentioning them because I will be wearing them to work or in upcoming videos. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, we're also going to start adding in what the makeup budget is for the month during the product of the month videos. So let's get it started. So of course, NARS Soft Matte. I am really liking this foundation. I'm not gonna lie, at first I was kind of like, mm, not sure how I feel about it just because I feel like it didn't last as long. But now I'm kind of like, you know what? I dig it, I like it, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on today. I am going to work and y'all know it's so hard because on days when I don't film, Wednesdays are my filming days. And so therefore I do wear foundation to work just because of it being a filming day. But on non-filming days when I go to work, I am not wearing foundation just due to the face covering because you know, my skin, I was having some issues with mask me and it's just better to not wear any makeup when I have to be covered up all day long. So not really going in with too, too much of this. So when I am not wearing foundation, I do put on concealer every day because you know, I just need my under eye area to not be dark. <laughs> I'm not putting on a ton, but you know, really focusing more so on that inner corner. So when I am wearing just concealer, the concealer of the month is still the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet. I have decided that I'm definitely going to get a lighter shade in that one. So that way I can have one that's gonna give me just a little bit more of a highlight situation. I also got quite a few questions about the um, NARS, the shade. I'm the same shade in all of them. Um, I feel like with the NARS Natural Radiant, that one is a little bit darker, but it's just because of the formulation. Like just because something has the same name, keep in mind, cause I feel like NARS just overall does a really good job as far as their foundations and just really making sure they're, you know, close to the same color. But of course, formulation is going to vary with the NARS Natural Radiant, you know, it's a more radiant foundation. Think about anything that's more radiant or luminosity, it doesn't have a dry down time, you know? Whereas I feel like with the um, matte foundations, I don't know, I feel like matte foundations tend to dry down lighter. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's not, this one isn't anything to me where I'm like, oh my gosh, like I feel like this is way too light. Basically, I said all of that to say, I am Macau and all of NARS foundations. Of course, if you put it on you and you're a shade twin and it doesn't look right to you, then it's not right. It doesn't matter what I say or what anyone else says, it matters what your eyes see. It's kind of like this. Okay, so when I'm in salon and I've colored someone's hair and their hair is wet, they're like, oh my gosh, my hair looks so dark. Well, yes, anything that is wet is going to look darker. Think about when you are taking a t-shirt out of the dryer, right? It looks darker because it's wet. Well, once it dries, it is lighter. So that's kind of the same thing with foundation formulations that I have found. Again, that's just my opinion. Someone's probably gonna say, no, I disagree with you. And that's fine. <laughs> And then for concealer, just for today, because I feel like when I wear the shade 5.3 with the Makeup Forever, I feel like it pulls a little too orange when I have foundation on, but it's fine when I don't. So for today, we're just gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Concealer and we are scraping the bottle. Oh, speaking of Pat McGrath, Holiday Collection. Yes, I am getting that major palette, the big one. I'm not sure, I think by the time, yeah, definitely by the time this video goes up, I would have already purchased it and then there's probably already videos up on it, but I am going to buy that. I was very hesitant though, because I know Pat tends to do a lot of glitter. However, I did it because I know a lot of y'all are gonna be curious about it. And so therefore I am getting it. It does look really cool. And I forgot how much I love this Pat McGrath concealer. Yes. All right. And then we're going to set up under my eyes with 
MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I told you guys I am kind of going back and forth in between just because I hit pan on my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush and I haven't really had it that long. That powder is so soft and finely milled, so it's easy to hit pan on it. Next product of the month, Laura Mercier Honey. So happy I have this shade. I really, really like it. I like this much better than the original Translucent and the Translucent Deep. I've said it before, Translucent Deep is fine on days when I'm not wearing foundation and I'm just looking for oil control. This shirt is way too big for me. So what had happened was I bought this shirt during prep and I said, okay, I never buy clothes for my prep size because I'm not that size on a regular basis. So I told myself, okay, cool. Let me just go ahead and get this in a size up. So that way when I'm back at maintenance weight, it'll fit better. Well, I hit maintenance weight. Well, I'm a little, I'm a little under maintenance weight, but I ain't stayed shredded, okay? And this shirt does not fit me. It's probably better if I put it like that. Yeah, there we go. This shirt don't fit. <laughs> and I hate it because I really like it a lot, but it is too big. I got it in a size medium and it's just, it feels really big. All right, so now we are all set. Now, another product of the month that I'm not wearing today, but I do want to play around with now is the Fenty Cream Bronzer. I feel like I didn't really play with it that much just due to it being hot. And y'all know when it's hot, I just don't do a lot with my face. But since it's cooler, I figured I can play around with this. Next up, we are going to put on some bronzer. Now I'm gonna go in with a light hand with this. This is a product of the month and I don't want to be too warm. This bronzer is for sure, sure warm, which, you know, not a bad thing. It's just gonna depend on the look. Whenever I am doing more of a cooler tone eye look, I don't like for, I typically don't even wear bronzer. I will just do contour. That's just me though and my preference. And for some reason, this bronzer is not available inside of the store in Sephora. It's online though. And then I also went and checked NARS online and this specific shade, the one that starts with the Q, Cure Me. I don't know how to say it. Anywho, um, for some reason, it has been out of stock on NARS.com as well. And I know another Someone commented, I believe they said they lived in Europe and they're having a hard time finding this. So I don't know what's up with the with that shade in particular, but. And I got way too much bronzer on. Okay, so blushes of the month. So Swiss chocolate. I typically use this as a contour. I might be able to use it as a blush. We're about to try right now. I need MAC Raisin. I have to go buy that. I think it got lost in transition with the move. It's not in my client kit. It's not in my stuff. Who knows where it is, but I need that one. And I also dig out this Cover FX. This is the Spiced Cinnamon. So let's try this as a blush. Like I said, I typically do this as a contour, so let's, oh, nope, that's fine. And I think it's, yep, yeah, that's fine. And it actually cools down that bronzer, so that works. In the winter time, I go for more of a matte blush. That's just my preference. Yeah, so wintertime, I tend to go for a more contoured over bronze, matte blush over any type of shimmer and no highlight. If I choose to highlight, y'all know I always use my Laura Glow, but that's just the look that I tend to like in the wintertime. I don't know, that's just me. Let me finish my brows really quick and then we will jump into the eyes and eyeshadow palettes. All right, you guys, so this is our eye look for today. Super, super simple. So our eyeshadow palettes of the month, I'm sure you already know what one of them is, but we'll talk about this one first. Visart, you guys remember this? It came out last fall, Dark Edit. 
If this is not the ultimate fall eyeshadow palette, I don't know what it is. So I will be making sure to leave this on my vanity. For me, when I leave things on my vanity, I can see it, but when I have it kind of packed away somewhere else, out of sight, out of mind. So this, and of course, Natasha Denona Glam Palette, which is what we have on the eyes today. All right, so let's prime the eye. This is really random, but I'll go ahead and share. I don't know what has gotten into me recently, but I don't wanna say I have re-fallen in love with it because I never fell out of love with it, but I have just, I don't know, found this newfound love for the beauty industry. I don't know what it is, and I'm just, you know how when, Okay, I don't wanna say that I was not acceptant of who I am. I'm very secure and you know, with myself. But one thing that I tend to run away from is I hate labels, right? And I hate it when people label me as glam. Like, because I guess whenever I think of glam, I feel like sometimes there can be a negative connotation with it where, you know, you're just very prissy and prim and proper because that's not me. I'm actually a tomboy at heart. Like, I don't mind getting down the ground, getting dirty. Y'all know I don't mind sweating. And so whenever someone would say, oh my gosh, you're so glam, I would almost be like, no, like, I have to like beat my chest. Like, well, you know, I can do other things too. But then the other day I had a moment because I was doing my makeup and I looked at myself and I I was just like, excuse my language, bitch, you are glam. That, that was literally what I told myself and that's okay. And since I have gotten comfortable with that finally, and I think it's probably just because my birthday is in a couple of weeks and it's just a matter of growth. But once I accepted that, it just made me all of a sudden look at beauty and my techniques and beauty and how I go about things in a whole nother way. And it just, I don't know, I just got this passion. I got fired up again and I'm super excited about it, you guys. I'm gonna be taking some certification classes here and I'm just really like I'm just up in my beauty game when it comes to my YouTube when it comes to my salon work there's just a lot of things that are just kind of up in the air and just un so unknown but at the end of the day I told myself I'm very blessed I have an amazing husband he is super super supportive of me like I was just like yo honey like it's super slow in the salon right now I'll go stock shelves and target like I ain't above it he's like you don't need to be working a part-time job I'm working, I've got it, we're fine. You take this time to do whatever it is that you need to do. You need to get a certification, you need to figure things out. So in the midst of me doing that, I have come up with just so many brilliant ideas and things that I'm gonna be doing and I'm just fired up. So yeah, I don't know why I decided to share that. Let's let's do the eyes, okay? Super sim simple. We're taking this shade right here. It's this beautiful, like, neutral tone gold if the camera would just focus. It's called center lid. And we are putting center lid all over the lid because we do what we want. <laughs> so I'm gonna start on the inner corner. Like, come on, man, look how pretty that is. Careful, cause you will get some fallout with this one. And I'm just taking that all the way along the lid. All right, next I'm going to just take my Wayne Goss number 10 and we're gonna take the shade Smoke right here. And Smoke is going in the crease. And then we're gonna pull it out and we'll pull it down in just a moment here. Now taking number 16, just blending. The other day I was um, teaching my little brother-in-law. He came over because we had family dinner on Sunday and he's not sure. He thinks he might want to do makeup for a living or hair. He's not sure, you know, he's 16. So he's trying to figure it out. And so I was like, let's practice. So we practice on Agatha. That's our little cousin. 
she loved it. <laughs> he let her pick the colors. Like she had blue and pink eyeshadow. I'll post a photo up here, but she was living her best. And then her sister Maida, she was taking photos of her and she is a really good photographer. She just, you know, she saw my camera and I was like, here, play around with it. And she was just playing around. She's really good. So I told Lo, I was like, we might need to get Maida a, um, camera for her birthday because her birthday is a few days before mine because I'm the kind of person where if I especially with kids if I see a natural talent in a kid I say nurture it because you never know what can happen like if she wasn't trying and she's just you know playing around and she can shoot good angles what will happen if you actually give her the camera and give her a little education behind it and that's the thing, like, it wasn't just dumb luck either because every single shot, I was like, wow, 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 wow. Like, these are really good. She's got a good eye. She's very aware of angles. So I was like, all right, Maria might need a camera. And Agatha got her makeup done by Matt. And then after that, I was like, all right, well, come do my makeup. So I'm thinking I might have him do my makeup. I'm gonna teach him as, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do a video where I teach him to do my makeup because I think that would be very, very fun. He did a great, he did a great job. So shout out to you, Matt. Love you, boo. All right, now we are going to Sephora Wink It. I feel like I need to get a new liquid liner, try something different because I tend to use the same, not tend, I do. I use the same liquid liner all the time. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna go in with Marc Jacobs Highliner in Earthquake. Then going back to our palette and grabbing Lash Line. Then let's use Let's take some of brow bone. We'll just pop that in there too. We'll have two inner corner highlights going. Pretty. And then you guys. So one of the positives of the face coverings is that I am officially a lash girl, and I have fallen in love with eyelashes. Now, of course, y'all know, still keeping it simple because that's always the basics of my glam. Y'all know I love a good simple glam, okay? These lashes are my favorite, Ardell. Like, if I could ever get a sponsor in my life, Ardell, or on the PR, Ardell, if you could just send me Demi Wispies. I don't even, I don't, I don't even need you to sponsor me. If you want to sponsor me one day, maybe I should put it out there into the existence. One day, Ardell Lashes will sponsor me because I believe in speaking things into existence and manifesting it. So yeah, we're going to say it, but these are just the best lashes in general for me and my style. Now, of course, if you like more of a va va boom lash, cool, go off. I like these because first of all, they're light. They're super easy to put on, and I can wear these whenever. If I just have a matte neutral eye, no eyeshadow, glam, no matter the occasion, this is my go-to lash. So we're just gonna go ahead and slap these on real quick. But before we slap them on, mascara. So y'all saw, I tried the NARS Extreme Climax, didn't like it, so I went back to Bad Gal Bane because that's my jam. However, if I'm gonna be wearing lashes, nobody, let's, if you're wearing lashes, do not use your expensive high-end mascara, L'Oreal Luminous. So I'm gonna throw some of this on and then put the lashes on. And I finally found my favorite lash glue. I was hunting down legit every Ulta in my area. Guess where I found it? Target. So this is the Eyelore London 18 hour lash glue. It's clear and latex free. I love this lash glue. It is my favorite. Has a little wand on it. I like the wands because anything with the squeezy tube, the glue gets stuck at the top and then you can't get the top on or off and it just creates a mess. When you drop your lash on, first of all, make sure your head is tilted back and drop that lash on 
all the way down to the base, the bottom, the base of the lash. Especially if you have curly lashes, you really wanna make sure you're getting behind your lash. Otherwise, it'll get stuck in your lashes. And then I don't wear my nails long because I don't like long nails on me because I need to function and do life. <laughs> so I can just easily take my finger and just push the lash band down. And voila. Love, love, love. So of course these are lashes of the month, lashes of the year, rest of the year. Who am I kidding? I'm also, instead of using my regular tweezers, I am using Tweezer Man tweezers that have a little bit of a bend to see if I like that with putting the lashes on. And I don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. And then last but not least here, I've got some lip products. Of course, it's very difficult because face coverings. However, when I'm filming, you guys will probably be seeing these. So y'all know I love Maybelline for lip products, right? They have these lifter glosses, so pretty. So this shade here is in pink petal. And of course I just went with a basic nude. This one here is in amber. And then this one is in stone. Let's go with amber because why not, you know? Now, of course, if face coverings weren't a thing, I would be wearing the darkest fall vampy lip possible, but you know, this is basically gonna come right off as soon as I'm done filming, cause I got it. All right, y'all, I am back and this is our finished look. Those are the products of the month. Now let's talk about the makeup budget. So I am just really, I've been big on just nailing down a budget, right? Um, growing up, I just did not have any financial education and unfortunately it has left me to make some bad decisions. I've talked about that here on my channel before. And as I, you know, just progress in life, I just really take my finances seriously. It is something that I've had to work on really, really hard, still working on it, haven't nailed it down yet. However, I know for me, beauty is my business, right? So not only am I investing in products for myself, but for my business, my YouTube channel, and my sal in the salon. So therefore, I have to make sure that for one, my channel has to run, <laughs> right? We all know that especially for beauty, you know, products, new products is what helps the channel grow. So for me, setting a budget is very, very important. Now, October is my birthday month. So I, I upped the budget a little bit this month because I'm gonna just kind of indulge and spend on me, but I have set my makeup monthly budget for $200 this month. And then of course, November and December, I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do just simply because holiday time. I don't really think that I'll be buying a ton of holiday makeup. I honestly tend to not really buy any holiday collections because I just find them to be cheap. However, I'm just gonna probably adjust it accordingly. Now, I will tell you the best time to really buy makeup is after Christmas because a lot of brands will launch new products then. So, you know, think about it. People have already gotten their gift cards and whatnot. So that's just what I'm going to do. And then I will just adjust it accordingly. I just want to share that with you guys because I think it's helpful and maybe, you know, just get savvy, be makeup mindful. Don't buy stuff you don't need. Don't buy things just because it's on sale. Only buy what you really want. And of course, be mindful of your makeup budget, all right? So that's gonna wrap up today's video down below. I want to hear what products you're using, what products are you into, are you shopping your stash? And also, if you know you don't mind it, drop, drop your makeup budget. I feel like for some reason with women, Money and finances is so hush hush and we gotta get out of that, you know, especially being, you know, female business owners, entrepreneurs, like money is a part of life. It shouldn't be something that's so hush hush. We don't talk about it, especially here in the South. Ooh. But yeah, if you don't mind, drop that too. All right, y'all, so you know the deal. Keep it simple and I will see you in the next video. Peace.